Hello my gorgeous Pisces, this is Des and this is your reading for April 2023. Pisces, to begin with, I felt in meditation a heaviness in the air. Now, I've checked the camera and also the lights are looking a bit strange. Sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't. It could be a very relevant reading for one or two of you. I feel, Pisces, as if you're going to be receiving either an email or even a letter from someone that you haven't seen for a very long time. This is someone, Pisces, that may not have your number anymore. This is somebody who may just have an old email address. I want to say check your spam, okay? This is someone that, say, if you're in your 50s, you knew in your 20s. If you're in your 20s, this is somebody you may even know when you're 11 or 12 at school. This is a long time ago. This is someone that it didn't work out with. Maybe you weren't at the stage in your life where you were looking for a relationship. Maybe you two lived at a great distance. Whatever this is, they're going to be reaching out. I saw a woman actually opening up an email from someone that she didn't recognise. She didn't recognise the name at first. And then she slowly began to realise who this was and she thought to herself, oh my goodness, that was a long time ago. Wow, it's going to really surprise you, okay? Now they may be reaching out because they're divorced and they're now single, they're wondering if you're single. It could be they're reaching out because they finally found you on the internet and they want to reconnect. But whoever this is, Pisces, let's delve in and find out, okay? Hmm. Let's see what comes through for you. This is the Tarot of Dreams that I'm using by Chiro Marchetti. The rest of the decks are in the description box below, as well as information if you fancy a private reading, okay? All right, here we go. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, April 2023. April 2023. Thank you, Michael. I'm hearing Archangel Ariel, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Sandalphon, Archangel Metatron. I don't know why. I'm seeing somebody ticking lots of little square boxes. You may be filling out a form as you listen to this. Okay, Michael's reminding me symbolism. It could be Pisces that you realise that now this person ticks all your boxes. It could be you tick all their boxes. Okay. Hmm. Here we go. Hmm. The air is definitely feeling very, very heavy, as if you can cut it with a knife. It's a really odd feeling. All right, Pisces. Mm. Okay. Four of Cups. Pisces, you may have been, over the last few months, feeling very disappointed in love. Maybe there was one person you wanted it to work out with and it didn't, for whatever reason. You could have had three failed relationships or three relationships that simply never got off the ground. You're feeling as if you're almost ready to give up. And it may be at this point of time, Pisces, that this person sort of appears. Yeah. Strength card. Could be a Leo, somebody with Leo in their chart, or... You've been holding back from moving forward towards anyone else, Pisces, because I simply feel that you're a little bit fed up with love. Hasn't worked out. What's the point? I'm just going to carry on. I'm going to be... You know, just doing my work, I'm going to be sorting out my home, I'm going to be visiting my parents, I'm going to be spending time with my pets, whatever you're doing. It's as if you're blinkered to love, you're not really interested anymore because there's just been so much disappointment. Seven of swords in the past, yeah, case in point, seven of swords in the past, you had enough. Whether this was one person lying to you and deceiving you or several, you simply had enough, Pisces. Yeah. After that time, mm, very relevant, you moved to calmer waters. For some of you, you even moved, you relocated. 
in your thoughts, King of Swords, all right, somebody is reaching out, a very straight message. It's going to be slightly unemotional because they don't know what your reaction is going to be. Now, this person could be an Aquarius, Libra or Gemini. Yeah, so this isn't going to be a mushy, oh, I've been thinking about you. I wonder if you're single. Can we meet up? No, it's going to be, hey, how are you? We haven't spoken for a while. This is what's been going on in my life. How about you? It's just going to be, it's going to be a friendly email. That's it. In the immediate future, four of coins. Pisces, in the immediate future, you may be thinking purely about your finances. It could be that for some of you, it's a tricky time financially. So you may be tempted to say, I'd love to meet up with you, but I can't. I'm too busy. They may be inviting you somewhere. They may be wanting to spend a few days with you. I think you're tempted Pisces, I've got to be honest, to sort of push this person away a little bit. Because purely your head is elsewhere. That's what I'm feeling. What you're fearing with a two of wands is that you may miss an opportunity to move forward with someone. You may think, in retrospect, it's a bit strange that they reached out to me. And yes, I'm single. Mm, maybe it was meant to be. You're very worried that if you do not at least meet up with this person again, you may regret it. In their energy is the Five of Wands. They're ready to fight off the competition for you, Pisces. This is someone who's also been in inner conflict. Do I reach out or not? I don't know, Pisces, whether or not there was any negative energy between the two of you. You may have just disregarded this person or even rejected them, or they may have rejected you in the past. But I'm almost feeling this is somebody that you possibly had a date with, a couple of dates with, it didn't work. They might have lived in a different area. But this was a long time ago. Yeah. What you're hoping is that they're not simply coming in for a little bit of fun. The outcome, oh, interesting, is the Page of Cups. Now, this person could have married and had a child. Or this is someone, Pisces, who may actually want to apologise to you for something. But I don't believe this is somebody, Pisces, that you had an issue with a few months ago or last week. This is someone that could have been your first ever boyfriend who didn't treat you well. You might have always been the one for them, but they weren't ready to settle. And now they may still be single or they may be divorced. They could have married somebody else and it didn't work out. They are wanting to reach out. Clarification for you. Yeah, Pisces, all you're thinking about at the moment is your stability. Eight of coins. What you're thinking about is I've got a lot on my plate. I'm really busy. Whether or not you're trying to clear debt, whether or not you're putting in extra hours in the office, whether or not you're running your own business, everyone's different. You are very much concentrating on your foundation because I think you're trying to go from the four of coins to the eight of coins. You could have had a lot of big bills to pay recently or you may have just started a business and you need to put everything into it. Or it could well be that your outgoings have increased and you're really wanting to get your head down at work in the office if you do a nine to five, right? Ace of Cups. It's almost as if Pisces, this person's coming in with the Ace of Cups, but you're turning your back on that energy. It's as if, oh no, not now. And I don't really know why you're coming back to me. This is a long time ago. If there were any issues with this person, Pisces, they are wanting your forgiveness. You may suggest that you meet up once and you exchange mobile numbers or something. Why am I feeling that this is going to be a bit of a surprise when you actually meet them? Their energy, three of coins. They're wanting to rebuild the foundation with you, Pisces. They're also working hard on their job. With the six of coins, this is somebody who may indeed now be divorced. Hmm.
underneath the deck, Pisces, Eight of Swords, you're going to be in your head about this. You're going to be thinking, oh, do I really have the time? Do I really want to see this person again? Hmm. We got the tower. This is quite the surprise. Underneath that is the Queen of Pentacles. Now the tower may be that you never knew that this person married somebody else. Um, with the energy of the moon, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy or Cancerian is coming through. We've also got a lot of fire. Are you worried that they're reaching out to reconnect with you, but they still are in a long term relationship and they're hiding it? Queen of Pentacles can be a karmic partner with the moon, something that's hidden. But it looks as if they are divorced. Six of coins is dividing the assets for me. Now, with the three of pentacles, they could be going through a divorce and wanting to reach out to you, but they're still actually legally married. They could be out of a marriage in, say, six months, and they want to touch base to say, I am going to be single. Let's just see what comes through, Pisces. This might be quite an interesting read for you. So we're starting off with a strength card and the four of cups. You've been very disappointed in love, Pisces. You've had various issues with different types of people. I think this is you holding back from love and being very strong in terms of pushing forward and concentrating on your foundation. I'm really getting that strongly. You could have felt very disappointed in the past about a Leo or somebody with Leo in their chart. In the past, Seven of Swords. Now, either you faced a lot of disappointment and issues with other people, other relationships, people that weren't honest with you, or Pisces, this particular person wasn't honest with you, and that's what you're remembering when they turn up. Whatever happened in the immediate past, and immediate past can be last month, it can be even five years ago, you moved to calmer waters, and you didn't look back. It's as if that chapter is closed. I don't want to think about this again. I want to move forward. And you very diligently did just that. What you're thinking about now is this person reaching back out. Now, they're sat in the King of Swords. They could simply be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, masculine. Or this can be somebody who is telling you that they are speaking to a divorce lawyer and they are soon going to be becoming single. It's a very straight message. It's not a flowery message. This isn't somebody who was saying that they miss you, they want to see you. No, it's a very straight message. But they do want you to know that they are either going through a divorce or they have, for instance, just filed the papers, right? This is what they're planning on doing in the future. So Archangel Michael, when do we have the Four of Coins next to the Five of Wands? I'm hearing June, July. Do we have any? OK, 28th of June to the 14th of July. OK, within this period of time, Pisces, what you're thinking about is a couple of things that you're either concentrating on your finances with the four of coins. Yeah, I'm not really interested in communicating with this person. They're from the past and I'm concentrating on my money. Or you could be thinking, oh, my goodness, this person never forgot me. They always held on to the fact that they could come back to me. Now, they may be going through issues in a divorce or they've been conflicted as to whether or not they should reach out. But I do feel, Pisces, that however casually they come forward towards you, acting as if they just want to be friends, <laughs> what they're thinking about is, I want a relationship with Pisces, okay? What you're fearing is the two of wands. So you may be fearing they're not yet out of another connection. You could be fearing sitting on the fence and not making a choice to let this person back into your life. What, of course, you're hoping for is that they're not just coming in for a little bit of fun because I feel Pisces, you're sitting in the strength energy. 
you're just not interested in somebody who just wants to casually date. Maybe they're dating other people. The outcome is the Page of Cups. Now, they could have a child and it could surprise you. They could say, yeah, I got married, didn't work out. I got a child, you know, we've now separated. You could hear about this. Or this is somebody who wants to apologize for something, okay? Clarification, Pisces. You seem to be turning your back on this potential offer of new love because simply your head's down working. I think for many of you, you've been so disappointed that love hasn't worked out. You have thought, OK, from now on, I'm just simply going to be concentrating on me and my stability. Not really interested in love. Their energy, very interesting. They're interested in rebuilding the foundation with you, with the Three of Pentacles. They are potentially going through a divorce with the Six of Coins. That, for me, is dividing the assets. With the Three of Coins, they may still be having to deal with a karmic partner. They could be in the middle of a divorce. Or they may have a child in the mix, which is why we've got a three. Yeah. They've been conflicted about reaching out. They don't know your response. So, here we have the Six of Swords. This is you deep in thought when this person reaches out. You may wonder why. You may wonder if they're interested in being with you because they're going to make it obvious that they're breaking free of another connection. With a tower, it is going to be a shock. You may not have heard from this person for a very long time. That's Scorpio Aries energy. With the moon and the queen of coins, you may wonder if they really are divorcing. All Pisces, with the energy of the moon, what you're quietly realising is that they may be interested in reconnecting with you, Pisces, because they see you as a future partner. Hmm. Okay. All right. Gorgeous Pisces. Let's delve in and find out where this goes. Okay. Archangel Michael, what is the energy of the Four of Cups crossed with the Strength card for Pisces? Wow, really? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, Pisces, this could be somebody that broke your heart a long time ago. It could be that you're getting over some heartbreak that was quite recent. And this might for you have been the final straw and you thought, okay, from now on, even though I do want love in my life, I'm going to be concentrating on me. I just cannot be heartbroken again. Wow. OK, so Pisces, whatever happened, you were heartbroken due to a third party. Whether or not you were in a relationship and you found out your person was cheating, whether or not you were the third party, there was heartbreak. Gemini energy. And I think you just decided to move forward. Yeah, you were so fed up, Pisces. Maybe you just have people constantly wanting to be with you for third party situations, one night stands, a little bit of fun, friends with benefits. Yeah, no, you kind of had enough, Pisces. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. I shouldn't laugh. I've been there, guys. Two of swords. Yeah. Really painful. Why word? Really. Ten of swords, three of swords. <sighs> yeah. But look at you. Turning your back on the heartbreak, looking to the future. It's as if you are turning your back on the pain and you're determined not to revisit the past. But ironically, Pisces, that's when this person is going to turn up. And this is somebody you knew in the past. Michael, what happened with the Seven of Swords? All right, you could have got caught up with a fire sign. Aries Leo Sag that did the sneaky on you, wasn't honest with you, deceived you. Yeah. Yeah. Seven of Wands, they were either very defensive with you, acted as if they weren't interested, and maybe this is somebody turning back up who regrets that, or this is someone that you had to push away because you felt all they wanted was a fling. Yeah. Hangman, Pisces energy. Either this person took forever to offer you a commitment, you got fed up and moved away, or you had to spend some time really thinking. This is you in deep introspection. 
What happened in the immediate past? All I see here, Pies, is that you tried to heal and move on. Yeah. Okay. Four of Swords. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. This was you moving on, knowing the truth and healing. But it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. What was on Pisces' mind? Healing. Star energy, Aquarius energy, you had to heal. Wasn't easy. But I think you did heal Pisces. And even though with this person turning up again, I think you're reliving the Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords. I think this is you still coming forward with an open heart. But I don't believe you're interested in love, i.e. you're very happy to forgive and forget. You're very happy to have a conversation with this person. No hard feelings, water under the bridge, whatever happened, happened. I've moved on. So you're open hearted enough to forgive this person. And I don't think you're going to be sitting in the energy of I don't ever want to talk to them again. I think you're happy to have a conversation. But if this person feels it's going to be easy to draw you back into their life, I think they've got another thing coming. They may even expect an argument with you, Pisces, because if this was somebody that treated you badly in the past, they're expecting you to be frosty. OK, so you're thinking about the Two of Swords. What is this Two of Swords energy? OK, Ten of Cups. I think this person is speaking to a divorce lawyer to get out of the energy of the Ten of Cups, which is a family dynamic. Hmm. Three of Wands. They may always have wondered, Pisces, what would have happened if they'd chosen you. They could live a distance. This is somebody who is thinking they missed an opportunity with you. Yeah, what you're realising, Pisces, is this is somebody who wants to come back into your life. This is you also thinking about the past. So this is going to put you firmly in a place of nostalgia. What is this person's energy, Michael? They're sat in the Five of Wands. Okay. Faith card, Taurus. This is someone who may feel as if you're still angry with them because they may have tried to have a fling with you in the past whilst being married and you were upset. This is somebody who may have felt they needed to stay in another connection due to reasons based around their culture, their religion. I think they're praying that you will at least want to have a conversation with them. What is their energy? The sun. This is somebody who lives at a distance. This could be a Leo, Pisces, who wants to reconnect. Knight of Cups or a fellow Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. This is someone who feels as if you would make them very happy. This is someone who still held love in their heart for you, Pisces, even if you didn't know that. What is their situation? Ace of Swords, yeah. They are breaking free from, I feel, a very unhappy dynamic. Again, somebody who may have lived with someone else for a long time, had a child with them, it didn't work out, or somebody who married someone else. They may have tried to pull you into some kind of third party before, or there was a lot of flirtatious messages from this person. But you knew or you found out that they were in another relationship, and I think you pulled back. There was a lot of pain to do with this. And I think they knew that they caused you pain. Wow. Wow. Yeah, this person has faced judgment, Sagittarian energy, for putting you into a third party. But this is also someone, Pisces, who is making a firm decision to reunite with you. Yeah, Hermit, Virgo energy. They've been thinking about this for a while. Do I reconnect with Pisces? I think this is somebody who's become wiser. If this was a long time ago, they've grown up, they've experienced a little bit of life, they've been through a few battles, and they're really carefully thinking about what they want going forward. 
What do they want to say to Pisces? What do they want to say to Pisces? Six of Wands, that they have maybe realised that they could successfully get out of a situation they've been in. They could be saying Pisces with a hermit, which is deep introspection and a very humble energy. And the Six of Wands, which can be a little bit of ego, they could say to you, I totally understand why you pushed me away before. I was sitting in a little bit of ego and I'm sorry. Page of Cups. It could be this is somebody who has successfully got a new job. They've sorted out their finances and they now feel more confident. As they're also free of another relationship, that you'd want to take them back. Okay, Magician, Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini, Energy. This is somebody who wants to manifest success with you. Yeah, Eight of Wands. Lots of messages coming in. Why do I feel this is going to be an email, though, and not a text message? Pisces, for some of you, you may have blocked this person on your phone, so they can't actually message you. They may send you an email. They want to come and see you, Pisces. They want to talk. I feel as if there's a lot they want to explain and a lot they want to clear up. And a lot they want to reveal. You're sitting there thinking about the four of coins. You're just heads down working. But you maybe come to the realisation, oh my goodness, this person never actually forgot me. They never forgot about me. What is on Pisces' mind? Work. <laughs> yeah. Pisces. Oh, bless you. Seven of coins. When they reach out, you're looking back at the past, you're looking back at the memory of knowing this person, good and bad. You're thinking about the concept of loyalty, you're very tired, you're working, you're really wanting somebody loyal, Pisces. Anyone now that comes towards you in any other energy, you're just pushing away. It's as if I've got no time for the Knight of Wands energy in my life. I'm just not interested. It's as if... Anyone coming forward to you with just passion, desire, lust, chemistry, it's as if it makes you feel weary. Ah, oh, really? Again? You know? Yeah. Maybe they know that. What is on Pisces' mind? Yes, Page of Swords, uh, a very straight message, which I'm hearing may clear up a lot of what happened in the past. What is this message going to be pertaining to be? What is going to be said in this message? Okay, wow, Empress. Several messages coming through from this car, Pisces. First of all, this person may have been younger than you and they may have pulled back in fear because you might have been older and they didn't know if they really wanted to be with, say, an older woman. It could be if this is somebody of a very strict culture or religion, their mother didn't approve of the connection and they had issues with their mother. It could be with the energy of the Empress Pisces, they got someone pregnant. And this is them realizing that that relationship's not working out. This is somebody who could be giving the mother of their child child support. It could be they got married, but the marriage is ending. Lots of reasons why the Empress would have come through. Okay, Justice, Libra. Libra Taurus energy. Now, this can be someone going through a court case relating to the mother of their child or they are divorcing. You may feel as if finally you've got justice because you may have wondered what this person's true situation was if you didn't know for sure. This is you thinking, ah, oh, OK, I now get it. And that all makes sense. I feel as if finally I've got the truth. All right. Ace of Wands. Yeah. 
So the truth that you're realising, Pisces, is this person does want to passionately start with you. They are ending another situation. What you're worried about, though, is are they just very attracted to you or do they genuinely have some kind of deeper feeling for you? Because if it's literally just passion, I don't think you're interested, Pisces. What is this person feeling, Michael? Oh, OK, that's different. Two of Cups. This is someone, Pisces, who may have met you and fallen in love with you and then their other relationship may have gone under. What's Pisces realising? Yeah, that their connection is ending. You may not have known much about this because you could have lived a distance from this person. What you're looking at is this person wants a brand new start with you. What's Pisces thinking about? Two of coins. Do I really want a long distance relationship? It would be very easy for this person to juggle somebody else at a distance I'd never know. Pisces, you simply don't trust. You've been through too much. I don't think you've got any qualms in telling this person the truth, which might be, well, OK, you're coming back to apologise. Your relationship is ending. OK, that's all right. And you're telling me you have feelings for me. Uh, I don't think I want a long distance relationship. So if you're coming back to work on a connection with me, if you do live quite a way away, I don't think I'm interested. Yeah. Because Pisces, you've been through too much. Sometimes long distance relationships work out. But I have to be honest, there has to be an enormous amount of trust and honesty, regular communication, regular visits. And both people have to be fully on board. If not, it just doesn't work. Because one person is constantly thinking, is the other person cheating? When I don't know. What are they hiding? When I'm not there, who are they with? You know, it just breeds fear and mistrust and suspicion. And that's not a good foundation for a relationship. I think because of what you've been through, Pisces, you wouldn't want to consider dating somebody at a long distance. Could be another city, another state, another country. What you're thinking about is, what if they end up juggling me with somebody else at a distance? Pisces, this is nothing to do with your self-esteem and self-worth. You've got that. But I think because you've had a lot of disasters in the past with people that haven't been honest, this is you thinking the next relationship I have, it has to be somebody in the vicinity. It has to be. That's what I believe you're thinking about. What is on Pisces' mind? Yeah, Knight of Coins. That whoever this person is does want to build a foundation of a relationship with you, Pisces. They're going to do it slowly. This isn't somebody rushing you. But it's almost as if halfway through their divorce, they're thinking, I can't wait for the, for the divorce to be over, or I can't wait for the mother of my child to move out, or me to move out. I'm going to reach out to Pisces now to say I am going to be single. It's almost as if they can't wait before you move on with anyone else. Because they do love you. Two of Cups. I don't know how you feel about this, Pisces. How is Pisces feeling at this point of time? How is Pisces feeling? Hmm. Queen of Swords, yeah. You're acting from a very logical place, Pisces. You're going to be asking a lot of questions. I think you want to know how far they are through, say, a divorce, whether or not they've already divorced. If they never married, what is the situation with their child? Was it an amicable parting with the mother of their child? How often do they see their child? Do they have custody of the child every weekend? You want to know a lot more. Because this is somebody who I think got wrapped up in a rather complicated situation with someone. And you want to know if they are wanting to be part of your life, how that's going to affect you going forward. Because what I see is that you are completely single 
whether you're divorced or never married or a single mom, you are completely single. And this is you wanting to know how this is going to affect your life. I think this is you in a relatively simple situation and single. And you may feel it might get a little bit complicated if you let this person into your life. And because you're concentrating on your finances, Pisces, I don't think you've got a great deal of time either. What is the energy between these two people, Michael? What is the energy between these two? Chariot. Okay, they could have got caught up with a Cancerian. This could be a Cancerian coming back to you. Or this person may want to come and see you from a distance. What is the Page of Cups? Let's have a look at the outcome. Page of Coins, okay. This could be somebody who wants to apologise for treating you like a friend or friends of benefits. It could be, even Pisces, you find out that this person is simply wanting to apologise. You may be tempted to put them in the friend zone. Or you may find out this person has got two kids. Okay. What is on Pisces' mind? How is this going to work out? Yeah, Pisces, you're pretty good. You're pretty good. You are working towards your nine of pentacles. I think that you had a bit of a struggle. You're hanging on to four pentacles. And you are absolutely determined to get yourself fully back on track, which means, of course, a lot of hard work. What you're thinking about is I can give myself a great life, just me. If this person is someone I can't trust, somebody who is in a complicated situation, if you are completely single with no children, you're thinking, OK, I've got to take on this person's two kids. OK, um, you're going to think, all right, maybe they're going to see their kids every weekend or every other weekend, which means that I'm going to have to act as, you know, stepmom. Am I happy with that? And everything that involves when their kids grow up, they will be spending a lot of money on their kids, maybe college fees, all that type of thing. What you're thinking, Pisces, is, is this really what I want? How much time and energy is this person going to be spending, given the fact they've got children? And how is that going to affect me? Pisces, I have to say... I don't think this is you sitting in a selfish energy. I think this is you believing. This person is coming back to say sorry because they lied to you in the past. They possibly deceived you or they ran off and they got somebody else pregnant or they married somebody else. You feel you are justified in standing your ground and saying to them, I am not sure if I want to look at the situation again with you. I completely forgive you. Water under the bridge. No hard feelings. It's fine. It's great to reconnect with you. But you seem to be in a little bit of a complicated situation. And I'm not sure I want that going forward. I've been fine. I've been managing on my own. And I don't want any pressure. You know? So I think you're going to reconnect with this person. You could have you know, a couple of lunches out, a couple of dinners out, whatever this is. I think you want to know far more about their situation. Do they have kids? Do they have one child or two? Or three? How do they leave it with their karmic partner? Is it amicable or is she the sort of person who would be vengeful because this person is divorcing them? Why are they divorcing? Did this person cheat with somebody else? Did their partner cheat? Did they just grow apart? Are they of some kind of strict religion? Would their parents accept you into their life? Would your parents accept this person? Pisces, you want to know a lot more about this individual. They're very keen to connect with you again because I think they realise that they did love you. But you're doing well, just you. What is Pisces thinking about? The fool. Could be an Aries, who knows? This person wants you to take a leap of faith and a risk with them. But I think you believe it's a bit risky. You're thinking you could do this, but you know it would be risky. 
I think for a while, Pisces, you're putting this person in the friend zone. Why is Pisces putting this person in the friend zone? Okay, because they may still be legally married. So it may be that they're not free of their marriage for another six months. And what you're saying is, look, we can be friends. And you don't mean friends with benefits, Pisces. You mean literally friends. No staying over, no late nights. Yeah. Because this could have been somebody who was married before who didn't tell you the truth. That relationship they're in is ending and they are thinking about moving towards you. But this is somebody who may not have been honest and you're thinking about that. Would they ever lie to me again? What you're also thinking about is it might be risky for me. I think this is a slow burn reconnection, Pisces. You're firmly going to put this person in the friend zone. I think you're going to be asking lots of questions. If they are elusive in any way, Pisces, if you feel they're being shifty, if you feel they're not meeting your eyes, if you feel they're not being honest, you are going to turn your back for good. Thank you, but no thank you. If this person is reticent to take you to their home, if they're reticent for you to meet their friends, it's a flat no. You're very, very conscious, Pisces, that you want to be treated with respect. You don't want any secrets. You don't want any unpleasant surprises. And you want all the cards on the table. If this person is willing to open up their whole life to you as a friend, so you can really get to know them, this could develop into a relationship in the future. But I think you want to know everything. What is their job? Have they got a good job? Are they on the bread line? You want to know everything about them. So, yeah, you're going to take your time. Yeah, there is an offer of the start of a relationship on the table with whoever this is. I think they are acting with integrity with the energy of the emperor. I do. But when this person comes back to you, I think they are still in the process of trying to get out of another relationship. And you don't want to be sort of caught in the middle just in case they pull out at the last minute and you find out, OK, well, really, maybe they just wanted another affair. You're being very careful. The death card, Scorpio. This is someone who is ending a married situation. They may have gone through a lot of change and transformation in their life. How are they feeling? Yeah, they can't wait to be out of this other connection. It's highly stressful for them. They could be in a relationship with an Aries or a Scorpio. But I think this is someone who just can't wait to get out of the connection. Temperance, Sagittarian energy. What you're saying to this person is, look, you've been through a lot, obviously. It's good to reconnect with you. You've told me you're ending the situation, but I think you're going to need time to heal. And Pisces, you may be honest with them. You may say, look, I don't know if I want a relationship with you. You weren't honest with me in the past. Or I haven't seen you for 10 years. I don't know much about you. So I feel... It's going to be friendship, Pisces. I've got to be honest. I would love to say to you guys, oh, this is going to be wonderful. You're going to live happier, happily ever after. This is the love of your life. I, Pisces, I don't think you're going to say that. I don't think you're going to feel that. This is you a little bit nervous thinking I'm OK by myself. You know, I'm trying to work on my finances. I don't want to get embroiled in anything really complicated. And I don't want to be lent on by this person because they suddenly realise they missed an opportunity, but they are in a little bit of a challenging situation. It's as if I don't need the drama. Thank you very much. And you definitely don't want their ex karmic partner banging on your door, calling you out because they might have divorced their partner to be with you. You want to know, did it end amicably? How much do they see their karmic partner? And you really want to find out if there are kids involved, what the custody situation is with the kids. Years ago, I ended up going out with a guy who was divorced. Uh, it wasn't that long ago, but it was a while ago uh, before I moved to France. Um, he had a couple of kids um, when we moved in together. 
I was traveling an hour and a half for work and back. And this is the sort of guy who expected to have dinner on the table at a certain point of time. Um, he didn't realize that I would have been tired coming back from work. And every single weekend we had his two kids over, which is fine. But it was literally eight in the morning through until 10 o'clock at night. And it was a bit of a challenge. And the relationship broke up because he said, I'm trying to file for full custody. And I thought, blimey, I don't know if I could take on another woman's two children and they were six and ten ongoing for the rest of my life. That's a big responsibility. So it's very important, Pisces, if you are connecting with somebody or thinking about having a relationship with someone who's got two children and you could be a man who is thinking about moving forwards towards a woman with two kids, find out about the custody situation and whether or not they're on amicable terms with their partner. Because it's a really big deal. It's a really big deal. All right, it's my little story. All right, moving back to the reading. Temperance. Temperance. What is that all about, Michael? Yeah. Tree of life. So they may be in a complicated situation, Pisces, or you're feeling, I've learned all my lessons. I've reached a lovely temperate place in my life. And you may feel, Pisces, this could bring drama into your life. And you're nervous. So do we have any final cards for Pisces, please, Michael? King of Cups. Pisces, this is someone who truly loves you. They do love you. We do have a King and Queen of Cups, true counterpart. What is Pisces going to do? You're going to sit and use your intuition. You're going to really think about this. You will come to realise this person does genuinely love you. It's not just attraction. They do. But you're going to have to think about how this connection going forward is going to affect your life. And do you want to move into a connection with this guy? Anything else? Seven of Cups. Pisces, you're going to be spending some time thinking about what you want for the future, whether or not this person wants the same thing. You could be deciding to get to know them at a deeper level. You're going to be thinking about the future, Pisces. But I think this is going to start off as a friendship to begin with, okay? All right, guys, let's get messages. Okay, White Rose Guidance, Divine Love Messages, Volume 2. What would this person want to say to Pisces? What would this person want to say to Pisces? Thank you, Michael. Things aren't always as they seem. Again, Pisces, you know, just get to know this person. Make sure that they're telling you the truth of their situation, whatever it is. They're not hiding anything shocking. <laughs> Something that you may feel a bit nervous about. You're always safe with me. Now, that's really nice. I think they want to prove to you that they're trustworthy, they're reliable, they do want to work on this connection, they do want to be with you ongoing. Yeah. Okay. Facing my reflection is more than I can handle. There is guilt, they feel. Final message from this person. Oh, Michael's saying there's two. Okay. Okay. I tried to stop these feelings, but now you are burning hotter and brighter than ever within me. Okay, this is somebody who just couldn't forget you, Pisces. This is someone who tried to move forward with somebody else or tried to patch up a long-term relationship. It didn't work. It didn't work. Final message from this person to Pisces. You're the only one who understands me at such a deep level. Not surprised, you're very deep, Pisces. So, let's find out what you'd want to say to them. Let's just do one message, be interesting to see. Yeah, look at that, interesting. 
I want more with you one day. Pisces, you're not saying to this person, yeah, 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 let's do this. You're not. What you're saying is, it's been a while since we've connected. I want to know everything about you, your situation, your ex, your kids, if it's relevant, where you are now, what you do for a job, who your friends are, what your parents are up to, are they still alive? You want to know a lot. If there's any indication that they're hiding things, they're being elusive, they're being a bit shifty, they don't really want to tell you, I think you're turning your back. Straight up, Pisces, because you're working on your nine of pentacles. You're fine as you are. If this person was back in your life, particularly if this is somebody who wasn't honest with you, they've got to bend over backwards and be totally upfront. And if there's any indication that they're not being upfront with you, then I don't think you're going to even revisit this connection. But I think that if they are open and honest, and I think they do love you, King of Cups, Two of Cups, use your intuition, hold back a little bit, find out more and build a friendship with this person first. Build that friendship. It may be difficult if there's chemistry, but try and keep intimacy out of it at least for the first two, three weeks. You want to find out a lot more about this person before you move forward with them. But I think it could work. All right. Bye Zs. I'm leaving my voice. <laughs> I'm losing my voice. I'm leaving it there. Take care of you. Send me love and light your way and many blessings. Bye Pisces.